uh, yeah, I got a new haircut, and I got dyed it red too. I think it looks pretty nifty. I like it. The last is there. Holidays have been things preventing me from making videos, and I do apologize on that. Hopefully, this month there will be more videos. So yeah, it'll be August geeks, but it won't be every single day, most likely. The one thing I actually wanted to talk to you. Guys guys briefly about today is the whole thing with Chick-fil-A. Um, it's been something that's been in the news lately and it's really starting to bother me. Um, the president of Chick-fil-A said that he doesn't approve of gay marriage and all this other stuff and all of a sudden there's this big hoopla about it and people are like, oh, well, why are you so mad? Because he's just saying his First Amendment right. He's just exercising his First Amendment right and saying that he blah blah blah. blah. There's a fine line between freedom of speech and then freedom of speech, and then going beyond that by preventing other people's happiness, and by also freedom of speech and hate speech. There really is a fine line between that. And I mean, it's if he wants to say here, if he wants to sit here and say that he doesn't approve of gay marriage, well, that's his own opinion. He doesn't approve of gay marriage. Not a lot of people are going to approve of this. But it's another thing to donate thousands and thousands of dollars to hate groups that literally go out of their way to try and basically get into government and prevent gay marriage from happening. And that is totally not right. I feel that it is not right and it's wrong and that's why everybody's pissed off. They're pissed off because he's donating money to these hate groups. I mean, a lot of people are pissed off saying that he hates the gays. So he hates them. Not everybody's going to love him. But the fact of the matter is that he actually donates money to hate groups and the company donates money to hate groups. And on top of that, there's been a lot of news about um, the restaurant franchise themselves um, discriminating and everything like that, even though they claim they don't. But there's a lot of stories online saying that there's been discrimination issues and People, uh, women getting fired so they can be stay-at-home moms and all this other stuff. I mean, all you gotta do is a simple Google search about that. It's crazy. I also really like Chick-fil-A. I love their food. Their breakfast sandwiches were amazing, and their salads were great, and oh my god, the sweet tea. But the thing is, is that I don't feel like I should be supporting a restaurant that goes against what I believe in. I believe that people should be happy no matter what they want to be. If they want to marry someone of the same sex, then that's their own prerogative. It doesn't bother me. It is not, they're not going to come in and rub their gay all over me. So what does it matter what they do? That is their lives. That is their choice. It's not my life. It's not my choice. If they want to go and do that, by all means, I don't care. I have family who's gay and I want them to be happy. I want them to have the same rights that I have if I were to get married. I want them to have the same happiness. I mean, it's their right, it's not mine. Just like, if you don't believe in gay marriage, that's fine. Don't get married to someone of the same sex. It's that easy, guys. Yeah, it may go against your religion, but guess what? Not everybody has the same religion that you have. You know? Just saying. Oh, by the way, uh, I just started watching Game of Thrones after watching Supernatural. Supernatural is awesome, but I just started watching Game of Thrones. That's a pretty cool series so far. I'm digging it. Digging it. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, uh, you guys take care, and if you have any topics that you want me to talk about, maybe I can. Maybe we can start some form of a discussion of some kind. Maybe, maybe. Oh, my chair is not going the way I want it to. Yeah. Okay. You guys are fun, and I love you. And bye. Yeah.